Hello everybody, my name is Zanazer and welcome to Dice Mage. This is going to be the start of a new series that I'm going to do. Not on Dice Mage, but because we reached 150 subscribers, guys. This is incredible. So I'm going to try to make better content now. And my idea of better content is I'm going to try to show you different apps that are free. And I'm going to evaluate them and tell you different things about them. So this game, Dice Mage, is... Uh, the seller is Tappinator Incorporated. The last update that was made is January 20th, 2016. It's on a version 1.1. Size is 111 megabytes. Rating is 12 plus for infrequent mild simulated gambling. Which... That'd be the same thing as like Legend of Zelda or Super Smash Bros. gambling. Like, you put in coins and you get trophies and stuff. Anyway, compatibility is iOS 5.1.1, so if you have anything lower than an iOS 5.1.1, won't work. And also another thing, I'm sorry for all you Android users, but this game doesn't work on Android. Well, I didn't see it on the Play Store market. So if you guys see it, please tell me. Leave a link in the comments so that I can put that in my description and attempt to like maybe mess with the video and show you all that. You can't actually do it. Anyway, so moving into it. Um, I will be evaluating the game, but these are the things I'll be evaluating. The pre-download time. So the amount of time that it takes after you download the app. The second thing is, is the tutorial, does the tutorial actually explain enough? After that, we're going to be grading graphics, sound, is the music great, which right now this music is jamming. Gameplay, difficulty of the game, does it have absurdly long stories, the loading time between sequences, how does lives or maybe stamina work in the game, is it online, and costs of the game. Okay, so let's get started. I have no idea what to expect, I've never played this before. You are the Dice Mage, O oh powerful wizard. It is up to you to protect the Die of Fate. It has the power to change fate itself. Whoa. Oh no! The demon warlock took the die. Find him and get it back. Okay. Okay, so we got a typical storyline. Somebody took something, so you're gonna have to fight somebody to get something back. Pretty legit. Okay. You must defeat the demon's minions. Tap the platform to move. Roll dice to battle. Tap the roll button. Seriously? Is this the gameplay? If you can't tell already, I'm mildly disappointed. Alright, you won. Tap go to finish the round. Remember, you can't win every roll. Okay, go. So basically, I choose which roll I want to roll and I have two chances or something? Okay, winning fights and parry is your stats, but we want items too. Let's get some loot. Okay, cool 5 to 10 current question mark. Here you can win powerful items, try your luck. Oh, alright, roll. Okay, close, you can re-roll using gems. Use gems for mini games and shops. Okay, so this is the part in the game where they force you to use their in-game credits, no matter what. Winner, tap to inspect, okay. Um, Fire Mage special. Okay, this is a spell book. Spells add powerful abilities to your dice. Close it for now. Okay, close. Alright, I'll claim it. I'm kind of confused on what exactly I'm doing, but it seems like a typical RPG. I can't go raid it on. Yeah, I'll, I'll use this. Like a bunch of ways to, you know. Uh, oops. Oh, shoot, my mic dropped. Anyway, a, a, bunch, of, a bunch of ways. I, I was going to say something. Oh yeah, a bunch of ways to like increase your stats and stuff, and make it so you got a higher chance to win. Can I re-roll again? So I've got two... Okay, now I'm a winner. I, I don't get... What? Oh! Okay, so I'm rolling for the amount of HP he has. I think. Loading stage 2. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry if I keep blowing in the mic. It's nearly an L. Daily login streak. Okay, so that's good. That's another thing. I forgot to put that in my list. 
Okay, so in multitudes of games, there's like a login to sort of make the user feel good about logging in every single day. Like they get something good every day, and then eventually at the very end, they get like some amazing item or something like that. That makes it well worth it. There's this game seems like after six, it's like you get oh man, he won. But after six logins, if you guys saw that in the previous screen, after six logins, you're done. Or maybe not. Maybe there's more afterwards, but I prefer like the better way to win is consecutive logins. If you can tell somebody to, oh gosh, I'm gonna lose this one. And I can't reroll. Okay. This is stupid. Uh, I honestly don't know what's going on. Okay, I keep belittling, um, I keep pushing down on this game, but honestly, this game is pretty cool. There's no loading time, there's a lot of awesome stuff in this game, it's just, the problem that I have mainly with this game right now is that, it's, it's, what type of game this is, it's a rolling RPG game, I think it's called, uh, I'm not sure exactly, so, it's just, you're leaving most of your efforts, your abilities, your the ways you win purely by chance. But I can't I can't grade the game on that because that's what type of game this is. So I'm gonna stop talking about that because it's not right to grade a game completely off of just like, oh, this game's horrible because of what type of game it is. That's stupid. So I'm gonna stop saying that stuff. Anyway, so, we're gonna keep going. So, I can buy stuff now. I've got eight crystals. I can't buy the item. Okay, here we go. This is what I was gonna talk about earlier. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the gems' values are right now, but it says here, 5,000 gems for 100 bucks. Maybe that's worth it, maybe it's not. And then, four gems for viewing an ad. Okay. Um, we are going to view this ad really quick, because, I'm, as I said, I'm going to analyze everything, even ways of getting gems in the game. So, let's see what... Okay, so, I just watched two videos, because I wanted to check out, like, if there was a, you know, like, a limit to the amount of ads you can watch, and I'm pretty sure there are, but basically these were 15 second ads. So we're going to close this, and we're going to buy the Brawler Staff. It's only 14 gems, so I'm just going to get that, close it. And maybe I should equip that. How do I? Ooh, nice. Equip. Yes. Okay. Close. So, now let's do something. Oh. Oh, this is that rolling thing again. Like, I have to get between 4 through 8 or something like that in order to get a... Yeah, in order to get something. Alright. Oh, shoot. Did I click continue? Shoot. So, I guess you can risk for better stuff okay um i'm just gonna keep clicking continue and see how far i can get cool down five to eight oh roll again winner okay i'm just gonna claim this because i, I don't want to go any further um let's see this is 12 damage compared to this one that which does 13 now okay we're gonna keep moving there's an exclamation point i have no idea what it is let's roll to continue Can I re-roll? What? I'm I'm paying life for this. Never mind. Okay. I have no idea what that just did. But let's fight some slime. Alright. Oh no, if I go, then I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Oh. One continue remains. Okay, so you start the game with one continue. I'm just gonna use my continue. What? You restart from the beginning? So you don't continue, officially. What? What? Okay, so it seems like this type of game, the format is that your stats, I'm assuming, reset every single time you start playing another game, and you just, what your goal is to do is go through the game, buy upgrades, and as you buy upgrades, like, you get further and further, and I'm guessing, like, as you get better at the game, then you figure out which upgrades to buy and which ones not to and stuff like that. 
Wait, no, you keep all your items. Um, let's go to the main menu and see what's up there. Yeah, this is the... Okay, and then shop. Basic shop. Scores. Whoops. Oh yeah, I haven't signed into Game Center, actually. So, guys, I'm gonna end it right here, because I don't exactly get the game that much. I don't understand it, and hopefully when I play it throughout the week, I'll get a better understanding of it. So, I will be playing this game for a week, or until the next Saturday episode rolls around. And next time, I'll be showing you, like... What I keep playing, is it actually good to buy credits, like is it actually worth it, the glitches, issues, cheats that people may have found, and I'll give you 5 ratings, and I'm going to show you these 5 ratings up on screen. I tried to make them a little bit humorous, so please give me a laugh, just this one, please, uh, okay, okay, thanks. Um, basically the first one is, I'm deleting it after this episode, I don't want to play it anymore. The second one is, maybe I'll keep it, then I'll delete it after a while, basically meaning, like, it's probably going to be staying on my back shelf, and then when I run out of space, I'm just going to delete it off. And then the third one is, I'm going to be playing it once in a while, just like, I don't know, like, Jetpack Joyride and stuff like that. But then I'll delete it later if I need more space. Fourth one, I'll keep playing it for a while and let it stay. So it'd be like one of those common games that I just do a checkup on every single day and just play a little bit. And the fifth one is, I'm thoroughly addicted that I keep playing this one over and over again. So yeah, that's the end of my first episode of this iOS gaming reviews um, mobile thing. Anyway, give me a comment down below. Tell me if this is good. Tell me if I can improve on anything because I'm willing to change anything because I'm trying my hardest to sort of make commentary good, sort of trying to make my reviews great. Anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe for more of my content and I will see you next time.